I know that I've been quite absent recently, but that's because I've been on a little bit of a holiday, but I am back to talk about all of the new makeup and beauty releases that are coming out. And today I'm talking about WYN Beauty or Win Beauty, which is actually a brand by Serena Williams, the amazing tennis player. I don't know about you, but I didn't really know that she was interested in makeup, but this is coming out very, very soon. It's April 7th, apparently. I have to say a massive thank you to Trend Mood. These are their pictures. Let's talk about this. Not only is this a new beauty brand, but there's a whole chunk in this new collection. Like there's several different lipsticks, there's lip and cheek colors, there's tubing mascaras, lip serums, brow shading pencils, liquid eyeliners, there's concealers. Yeah, that's super ambitious to come out with anything skin related. I have to say kudos. There's also like a glide line long wear eye pencil and there's a skin enhancing tint of SPF, which I actually think is quite smart. Let's talk about the Nothing To See Soft Matte Creamy Concealer. It's going to be available in 20 shades for $25. Now, I think this is incredibly, incredibly ambitious because, I mean, there are so many brands that are out there that have been operating for years and they haven't gone near anything that is skin related. No foundations, no concealers. And to come straight out of the gate with a concealer... I mean, that's a really big, big thing. So she's obviously put a lot of money into this. Like you don't just wake up and kind of go, oh, I'm going to do this. That's incredibly ambitious. And yes, there are 20 shades, but it does look like they're fairly evenly dispersed. There's a decent amount of depth and a decent amount of light. I definitely think that over time they could potentially expand on this. But I am kind of interested to see what the story is here because I quite like a matte concealer rather than like a very radiant one. But she also has the Featuring You Hydrating Skin Enhancing Tint of SPF of 30 and that's $29. Apparently it is buildable coverage and a naturally radiant finish and it's a lightweight formula in 36 shades. Can I just say I really love that she's brought this like bright neon green in there, kind of reminds me of tennis balls. Anyways, despite the fact that it's essentially a skin enhancing tint, can we talk about the fact that she has like a massive shade range here? Like that's a lot of shades 36 shades so I think that's actually pretty darn good I'm for sure intrigued by this I mean $29 is not wildly expensive but I'd love to see how it actually wears across the day and these are some of the pictures that they've shown from that and it does look like they've kind of considered some of the undertones as well but there's much more of a kind of an emphasis on neutral which can I just say there's not a lot of brands that kind of think about that so I think that's quite smart there's two different lipstick formulas that seem to be coming out as part of this launch. So one is Word of Mouth Max Comfort Matte Lipstick. It's going to come out in 10 shades and it's $20. And the other one is the Say Everything Max Intensity Featherweight Lipstick, again in 10 shades for $20. I can't tell though which one is which, so I'm just going to show you these. And I mean, they look really, really pretty. I kind of love that shade on the model. And this is the other set of 10 lipsticks. And I do think they're very, very pretty. This is much more kind of like everyday. They also have the MVP Most Versatile Pigment Multifunction Lip and Cheek Color in eight shades for $21. I'm kind of intrigued by that shade go because it's such an unusual shade. Like it would look beautiful on the lips. Kind of not sure how it would go on the cheeks, but I am for sure intrigued. So that's all that we've seen so far, but there are other things like there's the brow pencil, there's eyeliners, etc. What do I think of this? I mean, every single celebrity has done a brand at this point. Remember the time that Brad Pitt did his weird skincare that had strange wooden objects on it? That was a that was a time to be alive. And when Travis Barker did his skincare, basically everyone has done it. Um, I'll I'll get a skincare or a makeup line at some point, except I'm nobody. Um, I think this is actually quite interesting. It feels like there's a decent amount of thought that has gone into this. As I said, I had no idea that Serena was into this. All that being said, though, I'm not like a tennis fan. I don't know much about Serena Williams. So maybe she has had like this massive interest in this, in which case I hope it all goes incredibly well for her. These look quite interesting. I do think I understand that the packaging kind of reminds me a little bit of tennis balls, but I also think, unfortunately, that there's bits of this that looks a little bit cheap. And I don't mean that in like a negative way. I actually think she's probably done that purposefully because the price tag of a lot of this isn't huge. So she's probably actually decreasing 
the quality of the components or making them less like oh fancy pants so that people can actually afford them and hopefully maybe putting the money into the formula which i'm hoping is what she's done can i just say that red bullet mm -hmm, very very nice i'm intrigued for sure i don't know what the story is it is apparently going to come to ulta on the 7th no idea if it's ever going to come over here to Europe, but there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Is there anything here that you are interested in? Or are you just kind of like, why is everyone doing a makeup brand? Because I am also wondering that. <laughs>